So in this series of learning programming in C, we are discussing some programs on metrics. We have discussed what in the previous video, uh, addition of two metrics. So in this video, we will discuss multiplication of two metrics and we will print that multiplication, right? So see, first of all, we will just, you know, uh, try to understand the logic behind multiplication, the theory behind this, some rules you have to take care while you are going for multiplication of two metrics and then we will see the logic. We will try run that program and then we will see practically on my laptop. But before that, I just want to tell you one thing, whether you are preparing or will be preparing for software development roles at top product companies, an academy subscription can be perfect uh, companion and guide for you. Why do I say that? Because you will get best in class educators from the companies like Amazon, Google and other such top companies where you guys want to work. These educators will take live and interactive classes where all your concepts will be cleared and your doubts will be solved in real time. So you can leave every class with a good outcome. The course and curriculum has been designed by the experienced people from the industry who have been working in the companies like uh, LinkedIn, Google, Amazon and other such top companies and have cleared many interviews that you want to in future. In addition to all these, you get on demand doubt support on Discord where you can ask your doubts if you missed asking them in live class. Here you will get courses on everything including uh, system design, full stack, backend and data structure and algorithm. And in case if you have missed any live class because of your busy schedule, it's okay you have option to watch recording of the classes. So while you have option to, cho to choose a 3, 6 or 12 month subscription, I guess uh, 12 month subscription will be, you know, uh, make more sense because it just cost 90 rupees per day. And you, you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your paid subscription. See, it's not like that, just read the no, statement, what program you have to do and start writing a program. First of all, understand the program, the logic behind that. No, uh, try to write down the program with your hand with a pen or pen or paper rather than just directly jump to your laptop. Right. So first of all, we will see that thing only. So two metrics. These are two metrics. We are going to multiply these metrics and the resultant metrics. Try to understand the dimension of this resultant matrix. What would be the dimension? It would be 3 into 3. First of all, let me clear, uh, you know, let me just do the multiplication, how that is to be done. After that, we will discuss one by one all the rules and the size of this uh, matrix, why you are getting that size and everything we will discuss, the conditions and all. We are taking both, both matrix 3 into 3. How multiplication will be done? So, index would be 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. These are rows and these are columns. So, first row, first of all, we will find out value which would be stored here at the resultant matrix, right? So, first row, we will take first row of the first matrix and this first column of second matrix, right? Means zeroth row of first matrix and 0th column of second matrix and we are going to multiply 1 into 1, 1 into 1 plus then second element 5, second element of this column 5 into 0 plus 6 into 1. So here the value you will get would be 7. So that would be stored here 7. Now for this one, how you will get? Same, 0 row, but the column would be this one, second column or you can say the index, column 1, I am representing column with index. So how you will get 2 into 1, 2 plus 5 into 1, 5 plus 6 into 0, 0. So here also you will get 7. Now for this element same this row and now the column would be this one column of second matrix would be this one 
so zero throw and second column three plus one three plus five plus five twenty five plus six into two twelve and here it would be forty right now for this one see the size of this would be three into three why three into three the size of resultant matrix would be we'll take rows of first matrix rows are three into columns of second matrix columns are three that would be size of the resultant matrix right so here i guess you are clear why size is three into three right so now 0 1 2 here rows index would be 0 1 2 column index 0 1 2 now what is going to be stored here index for this is what 1 and 0 1 and 1 at 1 through and 0th column so to get value for this we will take first this this row i mean row 1 of first matrix and this 0th column of second matrix means 2 into 1 2 plus 2 into 0 0 plus 5 into 1 5 and here it would be 7 right for this one index for this is what 1 and 1 right so 1 and 1 so you can relate it something like this 1 means row 1 of first matrix and another one is what column 1 of second matrix we are going to multiply this and we are going to add 2 into 2 4 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 5 into 0 0 it would be 6 now this is what index for this is what 1 and 2 1 and 2 it means row 1 of first matrix and column would be now second second of this matrix so 2 into 3 6 plus 5 into 2 10 plus 5 into 2 10 so that would be 26 now we have to find out value for this now so index for this is what 2 and 0 so now for the first we will take row second of first matrix and we will multiply this row with 0th column of see 0 is here 0th column of second matrix so here you will get 1 into 1 so these are the values you are getting right now the rule is what if you want to multiply two matrix then must have condition is what columns of first matrix must be equal to rows of second matrix here columns of first matrix are what columns are three and rows of in second matrix are what 3 both are equal so you can multiply this if matrix is something like this 2 into 3 here we are having two rows we are not having this row and three columns and this is of 3 into 3 now we cannot multiply directly you have to print you cannot multiply these matrix see columns why you cannot multiply if I am going to remove this now this is our matrix now why you cannot multiply see the reason this this matrix would be of size dimension would be you will take rows of first matrix and columns of second matrix so 3 into 3 so that should be 3 into 3 size right now 3 into 3 means this one we have to find out 9 values so for this we will multiply for this subscript for this is 0 0 so we will multiply this row 0 through this column right 1 with this one 5 with 0 but 6 with what here we have nothing it's not like that you can directly write 1 into 1 plus 5 into 0 plus only 6 no you must have something to multiply with this 6 but here we don't have anything because this is having only two rows that is why it's not possible to multiply these matrix so for multiplication columns of first matrix must be equal to rows of second matrix right because of this logic because of this means how we are getting the uh, you know uh, the, the elements of resultant matrix 
right? Because we are going to multiply the columns. Here what? This, this, this. These are columns and we are going to multiply this with this one. So these are rows of second matrix. That is why 1, 2, 3 columns. So the row should be 3. So that you can get multiplication exact. You have something to multiply with the 6. I hope you got the condition now. Right? So now one question for you is. So before asking question, let me just, um, you know, uh, somewhere gen in generalized form, it is written what if matrix 1 is A having M rows and columns, second matrix is B having P and Q, P rows and Q columns. And if you want to mul multiply these matrix, then only the condition is if this number of columns of this A equal to equal to number of rows of second matrix that is P then only you can multiply right otherwise we cannot multiply so we have to put in a while we write a program we will also put this condition if this condition is true then only you will multiply if this condition is not true then you directly have to print sorry we cannot multiply these matrix right and the size of resultant matrix would be if this is the case then size of resultant matrix would be M into Q rows of first matrix, columns of second matrix. So now the, now the question is this, I want to multiply this, can we multiply this matrix and if we multiply these two matrix then what would be the I don't know, size of C is suppose resultant matrix, what would be the size here? That you have to tell me in the comment box. And second question is if I am having a matrix something like this, A is 2 into 3 and B is 3 into 2, can we multiply this and if we can multiply then find the size of the resultant matrix. So this is part one of matrix, matrix multiplication. In the next part we will discuss, we will draw in the program here, we will discuss the logic here and practically I will show you the output of that matrix multiplication program on my laptop, right. If Because if I will do in the you know, same uh, lecture then this, this video will be very lengthy. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye, take care.